Well hello there everybody, I'm Murray and today we're going to learn how to export your videos from Premiere Pro. Uh, this is just HD footage, this is not 4K. I'm going to do 4K a little bit later in the future. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so you can see right here I have my footage. And I've finished my project and this is actually a, a tutorial I did in the past. Um, if you want to learn how to do levitation, uh, it's right in the cards up above. But basically this is my video that I have and uh, let's say this is your project that you've done. And I want to export it now and I want to export it in the best settings. So I'm just going to go to file and export media. Um, keep in mind that I have to have my um, timeline selected. And then I'm just going to go to export media. And the first thing you'll notice is that you'll have this come up and I'm just going to make it bigger so that you guys can actually see what's going on. So I'm just going to go to um, H.264. This is the codec that is most common in, in areas, uh, specifically in America, um, probably the UK, I think. I'm not sure 100% about that. But there's a bunch of other things here. QuickTime is also pretty good, um, but I'm going to stick with H.264. Uh, and this is this is the whole settings that I've used for pretty much as long as I've edited in Premiere Pro. Um, but I would usually scroll down to the bottom here, and um, you can see that there's YouTube exports um, pre uh, presets that you can use, um, and it's fine to use those. Those are great, but I mean we're looking to do the the best settings possible. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's see, I shot in 24 frames a second, so I'm going to do HD 1920 by 1080p. 23 frames per second all right and obviously just clicking here I can click where I can uh, put this in and uh, name it and whatever I want and I'm gonna make sure I have checked the audio export audio and the video now this is probably one of the most important parts of this is to make sure you have the right video settings now this um, preset is going to generally have everything okay for you but there's a couple things we're going to have to tweak um, so 1920 by 1080 we have that uh, the frames per second in TSC if you're in America um, and the square pixels all right so that's pretty good so far now you can have a level of 5.1 which is actually kind of recommended and I'm just going to render at maximum depth now this is the most important part we're going to do VBR 2 pass um, and we're going to change the target bitrate to about 75 and uh, we're gonna, yeah we're going to have the same for the maximum bitrate as well. Um, that just kind of gives a more uh, depth and um, quality to the pixels in your image. Um, two pass opposed to one pass, uh, two pass it kind of um, takes twice as long and takes uh, it pays more attention to detail when it's rendering out the video. Your audio settings is relatively fine. You can pause the video here and see what I have. Um, that's generally how you want it to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. But now I'm going to use maximum render quality by checking here. But also I can save this preset so I don't have to do that every single time. Because um, if I'm going to choose the preset um, 1920 by 1080 23 frames per, se per second, we're going to have to keep going down here, changing the, uh, the V-pass and bitrate and so on. Whoops. I just scrolled to change that. But anyways, so I'm going to show you how to save this. Oh, and by the way, this has changed again, but we want 23 frames per second. Okay, looks all good. So now my settings are all good. I want to save this so I don't have to waste time. So what I'm going to do is save preset and I'm going to name it. Let's just say best settings. And there we go. I mean, you've saved your preset and once you want to and now keep in mind that when you want to find your preset, you're going to have to find the H.264 codec and then you're going to go into your preset and you'll find it up here. I already have mine up here. Uh, that's just how I've titled it and it's probably going to have the same. Yeah, it has the same settings right here. And uh, that's pretty much straightforward. It's very simple. Um, and it definitely makes a difference because of YouTube's um, compression, uh, having a, a, a target bit rate and a maximum bit rate to about 75. Sometimes you might want to push it to 100. Um, it kind of depends. But um, I like to keep it towards 75 because YouTube doesn't really like you uploading more than uh, 40 to 50, something like that. So 
Um, I do that because YouTube kind of compresses your footage, footage a little bit more than Vimeo does, um, but I prefer using YouTube a lot more. So, and uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, nice and simple. Um, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, filmmaking, uh, After Effects, Premiere Pro, photography, consider subscribing. I'm going to make more. Um, and remember, learn, film, repeat. And until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting. Oh, 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 oh,